Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. Please remember to stay only in the highest of vibrational energy, okay? Stay only in the purest of white lights. Of course, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and prominently. I call in only the purest of white lights. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is... <laughs> return to you as we speak all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be judgment is final made by this spiritual judge this spiritual assassin okay so let's go ahead and find out what in the name of sources going on um, out here okay so we have someone that may be taking some type of quick action, trying to go for something. We, I think what's going on is that there's an emperor behind the scenes that's living in some type of regret. Someone is having a whole lot of uh, uh, regrets, nightmares, anxiety, worry. Someone is not getting enough sleep at night because they did the wrong thing. Someone is living in regret, telling themselves, like, hey, why didn't I just do the right thing? Why didn't I just step out on faith? Why didn't I just stick to my morals? Someone may have been someone of high honor before some type of event took place, um, but I guess peer pressure got the best of them. So they kind of stray off their path. Someone may have fallen from grace. Someone used to be like a temperance energy, and now they're stuck. They're trapped in something they cannot get out of or they cannot find or see their way out of it, okay? Someone took some type of action to betray you, cause you some type of ending, block something for you, try to have you living in poverty, they may have stole something from you okay someone knows that you are absolutely someone that's worth a commitment or some type of i don't know if this is like work opportunity financial opportunity something like that um but someone took some type of bribery or just let someone lead him astray behind the scenes and now he may be living in regret someone is about to lose quite a lot a lot more than they anticipated that they were going to lose in a situation someone basically like play with your future if someone owns a business that's about to go down under um there's a whole lot that's about to be going on it could be a queen of cups as well that's trapped in something she cannot get out of um because the truth has been exposed about these people they're heartbroken about some type of message they receive people were expecting you to be kind of be at your end it's like Things were set up in a way where someone was not supposed to make it out. You are not supposed to have victory, but they're heartbroken because they're receiving some type of good news about you. You're still in positive energy. They're not able to take you down. They're not, they're not able to siphon your energy, get you out of positivities and things like that. A lot of my messages, the sun card has been coming out, kind of reminding the collective to maintain a positive mindset. Yeah, keep your mind on positive things instead of focusing on what your enemies are trying to do. Usually when your enemies are really desperate, this is what they will do. Start doing like little underhanded stuff because they're so desperate to get a reaction out of you. They want you to feel like you've lost something and they've overcome you or something, but that's not what's going on. It's a distraction. It's an illusion. Your enemies have not defeated you. They don't have victory over you. They have not had victory over you. They never will have victory over you. Someone, there's a whole group of people behind the scenes that are just extremely impulsive for no reason. Someone may have a lot of passion for you, but it's not the right kind of passion. This is just someone that's very lustful. Okay, you could have a masculine energy in here that's taking some type of quick action to come in and seduce you, right? Someone thinks they're good looking enough to be able to seduce you. Unfortunately for them, you're, not, you're possibly not even someone that cares about physical features aesthetics and things like that like you don't mind if a guy or a girl looks good but that's not what you're looking for so someone is kind of setting themselves up for failure someone may believe that because they have muscles you know they may have like a really good complexion something like that maybe their teeth are sparkling white eyes are pure white or something like that whatever it is honey i don't know i'm just trying to figure it out like 
figure it out like the rest of you. But someone thinks they are easy on the eye enough to lead you astray. Someone is very lustful. You're looking at like a ladies' man. He has a cousin in every state. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is what African, some African men have going on. They have a cousin, a female cousin in every state they go to, or sisters always calling them something like that. Um, but this is someone that has a different uh, HOE <laughs> in every area, code, basically. Okay? He's got, oh, you know, ho ho hoes in every area code, in different area codes. Area codes, ho ho. <laughs> I'm trying to say that in a way where it doesn't sound. Well, I'm not using the profanity, but honey, it is what it is. Someone else said this is the energy you are in. You're someone modest. You're not out here on the Instagram showing your goods to everybody. You're not looking to be in the latest of the latest fashion or whatever. You're not superficial, but someone is very superficially minded. And they're trying to come in to kind of lead you astray. Someone is lustful. They're used to being around people that are lustful. So they were possibly expecting you to be lustful because you could be a very good looking person, man or woman. But someone is finding out that your beauty, your handsomeness, whatever you want to call it, is the least of your uh in uh, uh prior priorities like you don't care if you're good looking or not you have better and bigger things to worry about there you are someone of substance there's more to you than what you look like okay people have to well not people you are someone who's a thinker you see things other people don't do you're quite intuitive detail oriented very analytical practical at the same time so you are quite unique your beauty is not all there is to you or your handsomeness is not all there is to you and it could be disappointing someone because you're just seeing the truth about them someone knows that you you see them and you just know what they are about so they can't they cannot really come in and fool you because you already know what the game is the game is up this person cannot like fool you about anything you as soon as you see someone you're like oh, okay so you're another one like dj kelly said another one it's another lustful womanizer i'm telling you someone wanted to come in really quickly and do you something or just present some type of facade to you listen gaslight like you okay offer you some type of fake friendship fake love offer you're not looking for that you may not even be someone that's focused on love you're focused on healing trying to move on with your life leave whatever toxicity this is behind you and these people are still stuck on there or someone is still stuck on that okay these people are still trying to cause you some type of disappointment in life when, you, when you're moving forward they still want to be able to come in and uh, cause you some type of illusion let's say you're working some type of position at a corporate company and it's just not healthy and you decide to leave here come mr um, i think i'm good looking enough to deceive her hey honey i heard you're trying to leave what can we do to make it work what can we do to make you stay something like that Some, something like that you know you've been there for 20 years and they've never cared to ask you how you're doing they don't even care how many kids you have whatever how many however many long years you've been there or months weeks whatever it is all of a sudden they hear you're trying to leave and now they want to come in because of whatever reason maybe they benefit from you being there financially or something or it's going to be really hard to fill in that position or something all of a sudden they care about what your you know your your, kid, your 18 year old has going on at school is he going to prom who is he going with now you've been in this company since you got pregnant with this baby the baby don't grow up the baby is now like 18 19 20 years old no longer a baby anymore all of a sudden sally that walks past you every day like she doesn't see you now she wants to ask you how your son is doing how your daughter is doing sally if you don't go eat your plain sandwich and be quiet we don't have time for this nonsense but queen of cups you are trying to move on there's someone in some type of hurry to come into your energy and they're just coming in to play with your emotions someone is very lustful they find you to be beautiful but you don't really care about this person you don't care what they have going on you have bigger things to worry about there's a whole lot of characters behind this person that's coming towards you this is a whole plan they don't want you leaving something they don't want you you know speaking out about something they may even want to find out how much you know about a situation someone is worried this is why they're coming in quickly to offer you some type of fake friendship love offer opportunity whatever this is someone does not know what you have going on and they're wondering 
They're losing their bunkers over it. It's like, what the heck is this person planning? What is their next move? Because these people are used to knowing what everybody is doing so they can stop it. These are the blockers of destiny. They cause stagnation in people's lives. Even the people they're working with, they don't know these very people are causing stagnations in their life. This is like the enemies fighting amongst each other, betraying each other. But the moment your name comes up, oh, honey, they are in perfect alignment with one another. We have got to take that uh, Queen of Cups down. We have got to destroy that person. We got to make sure they don't move forward. We got to keep them stuck. Meanwhile, Billy is going behind Sally's back and interfering with her work or even telling her husband what she's doing at work. Now, when Sally go home, she and her husband are arguing every day. Sally is going behind Billy and telling his wife what the heck is going on at work. B Billy's having an, an affair at work. Billy and his wife are fighting every day. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff going on amongst these people. But you are the common denominator that keeps these people together. Together, right? So they got to talk about you. They got to figure out what you have going on because their lives are, I guess, not fascinating enough. Okay. This is sideways. And I'm going to put it in the reverse. We have a queen of cups in here that has fallen from grace. I don't know if this woman was ever in the upright. To be honest with you, I don't know if she was ever in the upright. Some of you, you have some type of divine masculine you will not be partnering up with because this person fell from grace. They took some type of rash action to do something. So it may not be that this queen of cups is not in the upright because of this six of swords above her means that she's someone that's healing or something. She's a healer or something of that nature. And someone is coming into her to deceive her. It could be this uh, temperance energy. Maybe this is a higher level soulmate that fell from grace and he's not able to uh, redeem himself. So he thinks coming into you and causing you some type of deceit is going to do something. It's going to change the trajectory of his new fate. Okay? Because every decision you make, it alters your fate. Okay? Most High tells you, hey, stand by this person, support them, regardless of how many people you see going up against them. There's a reason why. We're telling you to support this person. Moron here decides, ah, oh, it's too much. It's too much. One person, 600 people, it's too much. It's too much. So I'm going to side with the 600 people. Only for Buddy to fall from grace. Now he's having problems behind the scenes because Buddy is lustful now. Instead of being in an angelic uh, energy where he's wholesome, right? He has his mind on right, his head on right, right? He's balanced, he's healed. But he is now a lustful person taking rash actions. He's desperate, just doing all kinds of low vibrational activities. But he took one action against you and it was down from grace. Sora said, I think not. We thought you had learned this lesson a whole lifetime ago, many, many lifetimes ago. And here you are repeating the same mistake, betraying your soul twin. And you're out here talking about you don't care about them. You don't want nothing to do with them, right? Talking about money, tuck BS walk, all you care about is money, is money. Okay, let's see how long that lasts. There is a queen of cups in here as well that has fallen from grace. I'm telling you, all these people are showing up in reverse for a reason. All these people are showing up in reverse for a reason. There's a king of wands in here that's not able to heal either. Someone is a brute. Someone is unhinged. Someone is a poor leader right not as charismatic as they should be or if they are charismatic they misuse that trait someone is very superficial they think which aligns with what i was saying earlier someone thinks they're very easy on the eye and they can come in to mislead you someone think their looks is all there is all they need to do is show their face to you and baby there goes your underwear sliding off surprise 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 darling it don't work that way Someone is about to be very disappointed. Oh, this is what he already went through. Okay? Nobody cares how good looking you are. We are in the day and age where we need a little bit more from you, sir. Just a little bit more. And I'm not doing this as far as money. I mean, as we just need a little bit more substance from you. Just a tiny bit of substance. Like something for us to like just say, oh, yes, there's something there. There's nothing there. <laughs> There is nothing there. This is someone that pretends to be something they are not. He's going through an ending, some type of betrayal. Okay? 
He's going through endings. He's, oh, Lord, have mercy. Someone is unable to recover. He betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. You may have had some type of contract with this person, maybe in work. I don't know if it was a relationship or something. Someone was supposed to take some type of action. But, honey, whatever action he took was the wrong one, and he's going through some type of betrayal. Like, he betrayed you. Now he's being betrayed. These people are betraying each other behind the scenes because the truth is being revealed that you didn't do anything to anyone. Someone could have been dragging a lie for a long time. Dragging a lie for a long time. And you've just been sitting back and watching all of these people just a lying and lying and lying. And you said, I know my ancestors are going to take care of this mess. And they told you just you shut your mouth, child, and we will take care of it. And honey, the chaos behind the scenes, these people are fighting amongst each other. Okay? They've trapped themselves in something they cannot get out of. There's a toxic couple here that's getting on everybody's nerves. Nobody wants them around. They may have legal issues coming in. Honey, it's a whole lot going on. They may have lost a lot of money as well. Someone had took some type of action that led to some type of loss for them. So now they think they can come back in your energy so that they can mislead you. They said, hey, you seem to be doing A-OK. -okay. I think I'm going to come in and partner back up with you. And you're looking at who, who is the you? Who is the you? Because I don't think it's, it's surely not I. You're not talking about me because that's not happening. I is going to need you to stay over there. You made your decision. Okay? You told Source loud and clear, I want to be with the karmics in Karmic Veil. So Source said, approve. Request approve. Okay? Source didn't even question you or nothing. Source didn't say, hey, hold up now. Why don't you want to partner with this Queen of Cups in the upright? Why don't you want to partner with the Empress? Why don't you want to partner with the high priestess in the upright? You said, man, it's 600 of them and one of her. What the heck is that going to do? It's 600 of them and one of him. What the heck is that going to do? And Source told you, you need to walk away. This is not going to work out for them. You need to find your inner strength and walk away from these people. Mm. You said, mm-mm, mm-mm. You told Source, Source didn't know what they were talking about. Your ancestors tried to tell you. Hey, go join the star sea. Do the right thing. You don't even have to do it publicly. Just do the right thing. And you said, mm, you turn your back on your ancestors. You turn your back on Source when you made that wrong decision. So Source has turned away from you as well. Source has said, I'm going to let them learn this lesson because obviously they need to learn it. And somebody's about to learn a hard lesson, a hard, hard one, a hard one. Someone cut off their nose just to spite their face. Someone cut off their nose just to spite your face. It's actually a group of people in here that did this, okay? I'm telling you, judgment, the ancestors are here. They're here. They are here. And they've made judgment that whoever you all betray is going to have victory over you. Numbers is irrelevant when it comes to the universe. Numbers. How many people are in a group, in a troop, when the Most High decides who gets victory, that's who gets victory. And whoever you all has been trying to, dis to, to destroy, Karmics, I'm talking to you now. We're addressing you all. We know you'll be watching just like us. Hi, Karmics. Hi. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the platform as always. Okay. But you all picked a battle with the wrong one. It's what I'm being told to tell you. The ancestors are involved. The angels are involved. There's someone that you all came after that the angels watch over like a child. If you were to see a mother cradling his or her, her child, this is how protective these angels are of the person you came after. They don't play. They don't blink an eye. They don't miss a beat. Everything you all have been doing has been being accounted for. Everything. You all even got a high vibrational person to fall from grace. What did you all offer this person? A million dollars? Shy. Look at this. He fell from grace going through an ending. Won't be able to redeem himself this lifetime. 
at all. This this uh, uh, Queen of Cups in the upright may have even extended a genuine friendship to this person. And, you know, they still turn on them for money. Listen, this card keeps coming out. Someone is going through a horrible ending. The angels have called judgment. The ancestors have called judgment. Okay? They say it's time to settle the scales. The scores, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone has lost their authority. Someone is not moving forward. They've lost their power, their ability. Someone could have been using dark magic in here to cause some type of imbalance in a situation. It's like every time judgment is called for things to move forward, someone goes behind the scenes to pay a practitioner to interfere with destiny. You can't really block destiny. What's happening is some type of exposure is going on. Everybody's character is being revealed. So you're not really hindering destiny because destiny is called destiny for a reason. Okay? It is set in stone, meant to happen. Someone has lost their power. They cannot call shots anymore. And this is because the ancestors stepped in. They said, you're going to lose your finances, lose your relationship, lose any abilities you may have spiritual abilities they're being stripped of everything whatever they had they're being stripped strip isn't that what safari says strap bumba clot it is all being stripped of from them okay someone literally destroyed themselves okay mm. There's a, there's a king of cups in here that may be having a lot of dreams and revelations. Someone's angels are talking to them. Someone's ancestors are talking to them. They're like, hey, 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 hey. This is not what you think it is. You're under some type of illusion. You need to wake up. But someone relies heavily on black magic to get things to go in their favor. Someone wants you to fall in love with them. This could be someone from your past. I don't know how long you've been watching my channel collective, but the past is not for me. I hope it's not for you either. I'm forward moving, so I always preach that on my platform. Be forward moving, okay? The hands of time does not turn around for anyone on earth. So why would you be turning back? Why would you go in your hamper to take dirty clothes out and put them back on? Mm, 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 mm. Okay? You have people working behind the scenes to block any type of opportunities from coming towards you. New beginnings. And this is causing blockages in their lives. Absolutely, someone's using magic behind the scenes. There's a whole code involving this mess. You all know every time I see that devil card, it's a code card for me, COVID. There's a toxic couple in here that are into esoteric knowledge, but they don't even practice it the right way. They just have people indulging in low vibrational activity. They think they're saffening your, your, your energy, playing with your heart, getting you uneasy. And you're just looking at these people like a bunch of clowns. They say, oh, look, 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 look at this one. They're about to call and say the stupidest thing on this phone. Look, 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 look. They think they've practiced enough to have the right answer. Look, 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 look. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Somebody's father is really participating in this mess. Look at this. As old as you are. You don't know no better. Gosh, dang it. I thought there was hope alive. Some of these people, you see them, and you're just like, oh my gosh, you, at your prime age, you're indulging in this? Gosh, darn it. Someone is using magic behind the scenes. Yeah, someone is using magic behind the scenes. A queen of cups can no longer pretend. Someone cannot pretend to be abundant anymore. I'm telling you, these people are fighting behind the scenes, betraying each other, stabbing each other in the back. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're stabbing people in the back. Someone is being exposed. She's not abundant. She's not an empress. Okay? She's not an empress. She may just be showing up here as the Queen of Cups because she's she has emotions for someone that's not reciprocating the same thing. She she don't fell from grace. 
don't have no power or authority. People are distancing themselves from her. They say, I don't want to work with you anymore. You've caused, a too, caused us too much problems. I've lost my money. I have to file for bankruptcy all because you lied on someone. All because you wanted to be someone else. Honey, the dark magic in here is dark magic in, but it's dark magic in the wrong direction. They were sending it to you, but that sucker ricocheted and right, went, went right back to them. It said, ooh, I think I'm going the wrong direction. Reverse, reverse. <clears throat> that sucker reversed and it went right back to them. Hi there, hi. Yeah. See, I was on my way to the person, the energy you were sending me to. And midway there, I didn't even get like close to this person. Like halfway to my destination, it was revealed to me that I was going in the wrong direction and I was told to turn back around. So um, unfortunately, I have to stick on you. Chai! Someone is living in fear. There is someone doing some type of cleansing ritual behind the scenes. It's not working. It's not working. I said ritual and the moon came out. Someone is doing a cleansing ritual behind the scenes. It's not working. They're gonna they, they keep doing it over and over and over and over. It's not working, honey. It's not working. It don't matter who you go to to do their ritual to cleanse your end, it's not. That and source don't want that energy just lingering in the air. You send out negative energy, and source don't want it just lingering in the environment. It has to come back to you. The energy you sent it to they didn't have any ill intent for you. So obviously they're refusing that energy. We return to source, we return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. That includes any karmics watching this video. All of your negative energies and intents are being returned to you all immediately and permanently. And we are removing any blockages that you are trying to use to block those energies from returning to you. They are coming to you. Judgment has been called and it's final. Okay. I have a high priestess that watches me. Poor little thing thing. She thought she was going to come in my energy, befriend me, and I was just going to be there. Oh my gosh, I have a friend. I mean, don't you know that my kind of energy, we don't care about friendships? <laughs> we don't care. We're not looking for friends. <laughs> you know very well we read people at the door. Coming in my energy, trying to pretend to be all nice and stuff. I'm just trying to help, help her, honey. I see you. You don't got to be in my energy for me to see you. I see you. You know very well I see you. Thinking you're about to come in to sap in my energy again. I see you. I guess this is a revelation to you that I see you. I know who you are. I know who you are, dear. <laughs> nice try, though. Good effort. I give you A for effort. Oh, oop, 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 oop. Dang. These people working together, it ain't looking too good for them. They don't martyr themselves out here, trapped in their mind. There, there's a whole group waiting to see. Like, they are anxiously waiting to see how something is going to play out. Like, is she trapped yet? Is he trapped yet? Did we block them yet? Are we able to get them locked up in, in spirit? Just like, get who locked up? Hmm? My star C? I don't think so. I don't think so. You're going to roll over in your grave before you ever see this person in jail. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm telling you. This person is meant to be free out in the world healing people. They have a higher, they have a higher calling on their life than any of you do in that group. So, yeah, it's you all versus the star C. And this one is worth a million of you all. So do the calculations. Do the math real quick. Get back to me when you get the answer. Listen, get back to source when you get the answers. <laughs> when you get the answer and you decide, get back to source. But source is not playing with you all. I'm telling you, source is not playing with you all. 
Judgment has been made and it's final. You all are trapped in something you cannot get out of. People out here losing their homes, losing their finances, relationships, don't want to be seen hiding and everything, walking around with a facade. Just their lives are upside down. Someone can someone is looking back at how happy they used to be to now, and they're just like, what has my life become? We want to ask you the same thing, but the collective in uh, and I, we figured that would be kind of being nosy, but you know, since you asked the question, maybe you can give us the answer too, because we don't have the answer, sir, ma'am. We don't have the answers. Oh, apparently, spirit said we do. You took the wrong you took the wrong path. That's why your life is where it is. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. A lot of people they say, "Oh, I'm someone of high moral character. I do what's right." I'm going to always do what's right until they get tested. And just like that, they accept bribery. They're led astray. As soon as they're tempted, on sight, first attempt, they're falling from grace, losing protection. Someone has lost protection. There's a divine masculine that also does not want to work with a feminine energy. He sees her for who she is. This is someone karmic as can be. Someone is mentally unstable. Usually though, eight of swords has to do with you being trapped in your mind, but this woman is unhinged. It's what I'm hearing. Okay, she's unhinged. She's not protected. I'm telling you, she's not protected. Going through some type of rude awakening. Someone thought their beauty was all there was to them in order to get men, to keep a man, to get things to go in their favor. Someone misuses their beauty. You say, if I just show my face, <laughs> if I just smile, uh -huh, I should be able to get what I want. Most of the time, she's not able to do that. Even though she's beautiful, the men still want something else. They say, um, what else can you do for me? Get on your knees, spray your legs. <laughs> and she gladly obliges. She don't mind. Her mama taught her the same thing. Her mama is out here in the reverse. Mom taught her daughter something. Listen, this is coming out sideways. Someone may have been expecting to receive something, but they're not receiving it. I'm telling you, it was coming out sideways. <laughs> Dang. Zing, zing, zing. Yeah, because judgment has been called on an abundance. It's going to go to who it belongs to. And it, it doesn't matter how long it takes. There could be a masculine out here that's been pretending to be something he's not as well to receive something that does not belong to him and source is like absolutely not you're not even worthy of this abundance trying to steal it from who it belongs to someone thought if they cause enough stagnation enough waiting they will be able to receive your blessing and source is looking at them like oh poor little ting ting you still haven't learned you still haven't learned okay okay Okay. By this time, these people know how everything is going to play out. They know the ending by now because this has been going on for long enough. I was about to say eons. So this could be a battle that comes from past lifetimes. Like you've battled these people before. And in this lifetime, unfortunately for them, they lost the war. They may have won a few battles here and there. But the war has been lost by them. The star sea is having victory this lifetime. Okay? And there's someone desperate behind the scenes to make things go in their favor. They said, oh, mm-mm. I can't lose to this girl, to this man. But you're going to. You, you already have. It's, I'm being told to say that. You already have. Everything you were trying to have done to someone else, it's happening to you. It's happening to you. You're losing your abundance, your protection, 
then hopefully you're not losing your freedom. You may be losing that or you're about to go insane because you're not receiving this abundance. If this is a position, a business, an inheritance, whatever this is, you're not receiving it, darling. You are not receiving it. It's going to who it's meant to. I'm telling you, it's going to who it's meant to go to. And that's going to be the star C. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is no longer able to manipulate something. This is what they've been doing because using magic behind the scenes. Magic as far as manipulation. Manipulating balance destiny okay interfering with someone's work your work is wholesome someone has been saying that your work is dark they said oh they do voodoo you don't want to don't don't align yourself with them oh they're unstable don't align yourself with them someone has been walking around pretending to be wealthy they're not someone may be filing for bankruptcy Someone's filing for bankruptcy and they're being exposed. Someone is basically going out of their way to destroy another person while their life is in shambles. It's like, I know I'm losing my house. I know I'm getting a divorce. Uh, I know I might be in a, in, I might end up sleeping in the streets or having to go to a shelter. I know my kid doesn't like me. I know I don't have any friends. I don't have any money, but I want to see you down. And it's like, uh, Humble that self because you're only making things worse for yourself. It could get a lot worse than that. Believe me, you, sir, ma'am, it can get a lot worse than that. So you may want to draw back, pull down your sword because you already lost this here. This here situation, source wants you to know you already lost. Whoever this is you're coming after, their ancestors wants you to know you need to have several seats because they have more surprises for you every time you take a step to cause an ending for someone they have a surprise for you okay and if you're coming after a star see you're as dumb as they come someone's been interfering with someone's work they don't want your work moving forward they don't want you being seen in a positive light uh-huh balance is being brought into this situation i'm telling you these people here Everything keeps coming in the sideways. These people, uh-huh, things are not going in their favor. They have their hands in everything, interfering with your work, interfering with justice, balance, everything. And literally every time, time they take a step, make some type of move, it's causing them a loss. You don't need human justice. You need divine intervention, Starcy collective and that's exactly what you're going to get do not rely on the hands of mortal to bring balance into any situation for you always rely on the most high your ancestors to bring in justice because that is justice that is a call that is final no one can override the judgment of the most high or the angels the angels have been granted authority by the most high to call judgment, okay? I'm telling you. Mm, 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 mm. I am telling you. And somebody, even though they know the truth about the matter, okay, they know the truth about the matter, I'm telling you, they're still trying to drag it out. There's a, there's a high priestess in here going through an ending herself. She's trying to drag something out. Someone is very much fixed on their title, their ranking. This is like someone starts their spiritual uh, 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 journey. They're up here. You start yours, you're here. So they're looking down on you. They're like, all oh, little cutie. She started her spiritual journey. That's so adorable. I'm high ranking. You'll never a, a reach my level. Look at her down there. Look at him down there. And then they go to sleep, they wake up, you're here. And they're like, oh, okay, now I see. They go to sleep, you they wake up, you're here. Um, okay, what the heck are you doing here? That's kind of close. They go to sleep, wake up, you pass them. Now they take it personal. 
actually when they saw you elevating they took it personal they said okay she's getting a little bit too close for my comfort you came collective and you exceeded someone's throne they're intimidated by you so they've made it their mission to take you down okay someone is a deceitful high priestess it's all about pride and ego for this person they're trying to drag something out a mother figure may have hired this person a wife figure may have hired this person okay this is someone a lot of people go to to cause endings in other people's lives that hey this is little high priestess out here that thinks she's all that we need you to end her so madame started sending you ending spells dark spells death spells beauty spells diseases spells all kinds of spells and you kept waking up and this woman is there who the heck is this little helper i've done this to thousands of other people and they've dropped dead why is she still moving it's an ego thing for this woman it's an ego thing for her she feels like that when she can take you down destroy you she can put that badge of honor on i destroyed a star see meanwhile the universe is sitting back and looking at her like i'm about to destroy you we're about to destroy you in the worst way possible you're losing your abundance your abilities to look into the spirit realm you don't have that anymore it's done it's taken away your finances everything is gone okay rebirth mm -mm, mm -mm. is darkness for you someone is about to be living in darkness the plurity poverty blind and i don't mean like a physical blindness i'm talking about the kind of blindness where you're no longer able to utilize your intuition her gifts are being stripped away from her they are stripped away from her she's going through a permanent ending in this lifetime she'll never be able to use those gifts again gifts and abilities all being taken away i'm telling you okay all for coming for a star seed her wish did not come through she tried to drag something out with her star see her wish is not coming through tried to cause an ending tried to lock you up bring you issues keep you in your mind this is a whole group effort you could have like three or four women coming after you and it's a whole bunch of masculines too all working against you just working around the clock worn out but it won't let up and everything they're doing against you is just going against them just building up in their uh, karmic bank account, karma. Just occurring karma. And the karma is occurring interest too. So it's going to be a long time before these people can pay up this debt that they owe to you. Something should have been done and over with a long time ago. But the ego and pride of these people, it won't let them let go. They say, I, we've been doing magic for decades. We've been doing magic for decades. And you little star see so come in talking about you're going to, or you know more, you know magic. Let's see how much magic you know. So they started using you as a guinea pig, just to throwing anything and everything at you. Anything and everything, wrecking balls, Gov balls, tennis balls, all kinds of balls. Some of these men even wanted to throw their own balls at you, but you said, Ew, uh uh, no thank you. Yuck. You mean your karmic balls? I don't want those. No, 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 no. That comes with a price, and I'm not willing to pay that price. Demon attached to that stuff. Okay. And judgment is called, I'm telling you. Someone is upset. Someone wants your ability to manifest. They can't have it. Someone wants your ability to manifest. The fact that you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want. Healing. Lifestyle. 
answers, understanding. You can manifest whatever you want. Someone does not have that ability to do that because of your heart space. That's all it takes, folks. Healing your heart. But most of you are so heart. I'm not going to say heartbroken. You're damaged. We've all been through something. But some of us took the initiatives to heal ourselves, go through the work. We had to go through death and rebirth to be where we are. And then you clowns come about. You see us in our pure energy, happy energy, and it bothers you. And you want to know why we're happy and we tell you why we are or how we are. You can do the same thing too. You get pissed up because we tell you that. You're like, I don't care about healing. Where's the money at? I don't care about healing. Where's the house? Where's the car? Where's the name brand stuff? And every day you get more and more shallow within, losing yourself, feeling unfulfilled. Monkey see, monkey do. You keep following the other monkeys into the slaughterhouse. And we're just sitting back and watching you all like, oh, my Lord. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. And we're just watching you all play your little follow the leader into the slaughterhouse. And we're just shaking our heads at poor little ting tings. They don't know the truth about themselves. They've given all their power away to other people. But someone wants your ability to manifest. But they can't have it. There are certain gifts that are very specific to certain lineages as well. You go, collective, you could come from a lineage that's very good at manifesting because you all have a clean heart space. You don't have any ill intent for people. And until these kinds of people heal their hearts, they'll never be able to manifest anything abundant in their life. They'll always have to pull tricks, always have to spread their legs, always have to manipulate, get on their knees and things like that. You don't have to because your number one uh -oh motto is to always rely on source, on your angels. When someone does something to you, you're not thinking, oh, I need to go end them. I need to go destroy their income. I need to go destroy their work, their business. I need to go do this. You're not thinking like that. That's how you know you're healed when you're not out here planning malicious things for people because they made a wrong turn and did something wrong to you. Just because you're jealous of someone, now you think you're supposed to destabilize their lives. Because you don't think that way, collective, then let source know you're doing the work. You're healing. You're you. Okay? Not Billie Jean, not Mary, not Sally, not Twitter D's, Twitter Dummies. They all want to stay together so they can keep causing havoc, stay in karmic veil, unhappy with one another, always arguing, fighting, gossiping about one another. And then here you come in with your glowing light. Your skin glows. They want to know why your skin glows. It's a, oh, you don't know why my skin glows. You want to know. It's the touch of the most high, my darling. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And then they see you walking about, and they're just a staring. So she glows. He glows. I want to glow, too. And then they say, I, I would like to glow like you. What do I have to do? Oh, yeah. You have to go through betrayal. You have to go through endings death and rebirth you have to lose a lot of friendships a lot of family members uh yeah <laughs> and then they start frowning at you and backing away from you it's like, oh oh yeah sorry i asked and you're just looking I'm like oh okay whenever you decide let me know i can help you <laughs> let us know we can help you some type of injustice that took place is, place is being balanced out. Someone may be taking action to tell the truth. Okay? And this is how source works in mysterious ways. And I don't know who's about to go tell the truth, but source works in mysterious ways. You have people trying to intercede on your new beginning and things like that. It's not going to happen. You are still in declared to move on with your life collective. No one, no human has authority over you. You have your own authority. These people have no authority over you. Okay? They have no, I'm telling you, they have no authority over you. You've overcome your enemies. 
you defeated your enemies before the war even started. So they don't even realize that they already lost and they're fighting. And meanwhile, you're having a good night's sleep. So they don't even realize that the war, the battle, everything is over. But they're, I'm telling you, <clears throat> it's been over. They're fighting themselves. They don't realize it. And you're going to bed at night after drinking a good cup of mimosas, glass of mimosas, whatever you drink collective. Uh huh. I drink juice, water, <laughs> milk. <laughs> whatever you drink, you're probably sitting back on your sofa, on your bed with your legs crossed or kicked up somewhere. Maybe even watching these people from afar since you have those gifts that the Most High has permitted you to use and have activated within you. You're sitting back and watching your enemies from afar destroy themselves and each other because you know what they try to do to you. And each person you see in the group, you can help them heal. But you know, they, they tried to destroy you and you overcame them by the grace of the Most High and your ancestors and angels. So them reaching out to you for help is like, oh, Some of you are out here telling them if you went talking money, you can't be talking to me. Honey, I don't blame you. But if if the most high touches your heart to help someone, please help them wholeheartedly. If the most high has not touched your heart to help someone, don't do it. Because something the universe hates is kindness that's not coming from the depth of your soul. You don't have any pure intent behind what you're doing. You're just doing it just to say that, oh, I helped this person. I did this for this person. Don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. Someone's taking some type of action to expose the truth about some type of fulfillment, some type of income, money, something, property, something. They may even be exposing a character, a greedy character. Mm-hmm. Someone's going to be exposing the truth. And this is something someone has been trying to hide for a long time. That, hey, yeah, they've been trying to hide something, causing illusions and things. They may have stolen something from you and they've been pretending like it belongs to them. They're like, hey, 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 hey. Do you know that this belongs to you? And you're like, oh, no, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone went and signed on your behalf and said that you gave it to them. He said, give what to who? I'm generous, but not that generous. Now, that's borderline idiotic right there now. I'm not that generous. I'm going to need it back. Okay? I'm going to need it back. Give it back here. Hand it here. Hand it here, please. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. Karmics are fighting. Karmics are fighting. They want to turn your life upside down, but they turn their lives upside down. And they're just eagerly waiting. Is this person going to die yet? Is this person going to fall yet? Listen, we need to make a remix for these karmics when they're waiting to see us fall. Is this person going to die yet? Is this person going to fall yet? Is this person going to pass out? Is this person going to do? What are they going to do? When are they going to do it? Just losing their mind. Trying to stay calm, but can't. I feel like we need to make that a song. Is this person going to die yet? Is this person going to fall yet? Has this person gone broke yet? Mm. Yeah, apparently no. They're not dying. They're not falling. They're not going broke. Apparently they're having wish fulfillment, Karmic. Sorry to bust your bubbles. I know you're probably not having a good day. Mm -hmm. And you had a whole lot of hopes. You had a whole lot of hopes that you had destroyed a divine being. Apparently, they're not. Oh, shocking, isn't it? Shocking. The universe is taking care of business. Someone in here lies a lot because they rely on dark magic a lot to get things to go in their favor, not realizing they're building up karma. They tell people that there's a star seed that does the same thing. They say, oh, she uses magic. He uses magic and manipulation to make things go in their favor. And people are looking like, mm, yeah, that's not adding up. 
every time we go to do a reading, this person is showing up as a star seed. That's not adding up. We don't believe you anymore. We've been doing readings on this person for a year, now five years now, and they're still showing up as a star seed. They're still showing up hopeful, showing up as a healer. Uh huh. And they're still showing up as someone that has a lot of abundance and opportunities available to them. But I'm telling you, you see here, they're still blessed. Okay, now. Mm hmm. This person is out here receiving opportunities and blessings from the Most High that's allowing them to have authority and take authority of their life, like bring balance into their life stability and things like that and you're trying to get us to believe that they're karmic it looks that you're you're going through worse than this person make it make sense make it make sense mm. yeah there's a there's someone in here that cannot be led astray someone has been able to manipulate everybody else they came across an emperor and that emperor said uh-uh no i don't have time for your foolery I'm going to need you to get up out of my face with this nonsense. Someone must be a star seed himself. But there's an emperor here of high moral character, maybe defending you behind the scenes. Someone does not play about you. You may not even know this emperor, but honey, this man knows of you. He knows of you. He may have made some type of decision to do the right thing, Bring balance into a situation. Mm -hmm. And people are burdened about this. Burdened about this. Someone may have paid another emperor to uh, stand beside them. And this emperor stood beside his karmics. I'm going to stand beside them. That's what he said. That's what he said. I'm going to stand beside them. Are those your karmics? Uh, yeah. I'm going to stand beside them. Mm-hmm. And now he's burdened. I knew that Emperor Carl was going to come out. I knew that Emperor Carl was going to come out. And he's burdened because you know the truth. You know what he's been doing. He knows you're freaking intelligent as heck. Someone cannot come in and deceive you. You're feisty as heck. First of all, you know the truth. It's like all these mind games. How old are we? Why are we playing all these mind games? I thought we graduated from preschool, kindergarten, middle school, high school. Some of these people are even out of college and stuff. These are people with kids. One, two, three, four, five kids. Some of them are grandparents still indulging in this kind of childish behavior. And that... And, and, and you're just sitting back and watching them make a fool out of themselves. And someone in here knows that you know the truth. And they're still going to keep pretending like they don't know what's going on. But something, I'm telling you, something is about to happen where they won't be able to pretend anymore. Someone is about to lose it. Someone is going to lose their cool. Someone is about to lose their cool. When, someone t when another energy tells them what they're doing. He said, I really don't give two Fs what you all have going on here. I don't want to be part of that. I told you what I'm going to do. Someone said, it's my life. It's my decision. Get out of here with that. Someone comes in talking to an emperor like he's in charge or something. <laughs> he comes in talking to an emperor like he's in charge of this emperor. Someone got checked. Oh, he's about to get checked. That I don't told you. You're not the boss of me. You don't tell me what to do. I told you that already. Let me make myself clear to you one last time. Someone is getting checked. And then you have another emperor that failed to uh, stand his ground. And now he's worried. What's going to happen? He's worried. If he reaches out to you, what are you going to say? He's like, is she going to talk to me? Yeah. He, he's worried. I'm telling you, he's worried. He is worried. He said, is she going to talk to me? 
Is it really over? He's aware. There's an energy that comes to some emperor, and that emperor is fed up with him. He may be even telling him, don't come around me no more. Stay away from me. Um, hmm. I'm telling you. Stay away from me. And the fact that he's walking away is causing a tower. They need him. They need this man to cause an ending to someone. Someone may have thought that, oh, you know, if we just block their love life, block everything, they'll fall apart. And they keep watching you every day and you're just like, oh, I really don't care because I know the Most High is going to replace it. Thank you for taking that away because the Most High probably had better for me. They've had someone breadcrumbing you. They've had someone breadcrumbing you. Mm-hmm. Yep, and he agreed to do it. There's an emperor that agreed to do the wrong thing. If he would just have stuck in there just a little bit longer, my, 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 what abundance he would have acquired. Now someone is about to lose everything. If there's a court case going on, someone is about to lose that miserably. And he's worried about the decision that he made. He should have gone with love, but he chose money. He would have had victory. Sometimes something will be shown to you in a way where you're being tested. Mm -hmm. You're being tested and you don't realize you're being tested. The universe will test you in mysterious ways. Yeah. Someone chose the wrong energy to partner up with. I'm telling you, the wrong energy. He thought he had partnered up with a business savvy person. And it turns out they're not a business savvy person. This is someone that's a thief. They steal. They may be trying to come back to you <laughs> to mend things. And you're like, mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm going to rely on Source to provide me with my new opportunities, my needs. Tell me where I need to go. I'm going to go somewhere else. My abundance, I'm going to take that somewhere else. There's, there could be a masculine, like, there could be someone that's keeping, like, a feminine energy around because they know you are you are a star seed. You're naturally abundant and blessed and favored. So they feel like having you either in a relationship, in their institution, or in their energy, whatever, brings abundance to them. That's not how that works because you're being manipulative. Anything you acquire because of this person being your energy is going to be stripped right away from you. The ancestors are going to let you get comfortable, real comfortable, where you think you're in the clear. And then one morning you just wake up and it's all falling apart. I'm telling you, it's all falling apart. Okay? It's all falling apart. Yeah. This emperor took some type of impulsive action. He took some type of impulsive action. He was he he was living in fear. Someone has anxiety issues. And his anxiety causes him to do the wrong things. Because he gets to thinking in his mind, what if I do this? What if I don't do this? What if this happens? And then he ends up effing up even more. So he made some type of wrong calculation. And now it's ensuring an ending for him, the people he's been working with. Meanwhile, collective, <laughs> you're staying calm. They're like, we've ended this person. Why are they not losing their bunkers? Is she yelling yet? Is he yelling yet? And they're like, no, they're not responding. Is that like, what? How? Yeah, it's like because someone is done. Someone is done with the childish games. They're over it. Someone said you all need to grow up. You all are refusing to grow up. All the money you all, I'm telling you, all the money you all have been investing, all the donations and stuff you've been collecting to cause someone's stagnation is not working. It's not going to work. 
someone is still going to be successful in life and you always still keep fighting amongst each other i'm telling you someone made the wrong decision to steal from another energy stealing opportunities yeah trying to steal love from you they can't have it it was coming out in the reverse so i'm going to put it out in the reverse not that it makes much of a distance destiny is going to happen the way it's supposed to someone's been trying to steal opportunities love offers business offers all kinds of stuff they don't want you to be successful they don't want you to be seen as someone that's successful they don't want you having this they're trying to block everything but the whole time they've just been blocking themselves blocking themselves and they're about to find this out the hard way every last one of them they were trying to make it complicated for someone to leave a situation he's leaving in ways she's leaving in ways he said oh yeah i don't have a contract with you i thought i did you misled me i thought you were a true empress apparently you're not and sir that means that your eyes are not open if someone can mislead you that easily mm -hmm. yep okay now it don't matter what they do you still get good news you still get to move forward right into your new beginning you see how it's how how this is going here you're moving forward into your new beginning your new beginning is enabling you to move forward you push forward to be able to have that hmm someone's gonna have to find their strength to come into your energy to pr i don't know if it's to apologize to you to reveal something to you someone is embarrassed though they're worried that you're gonna just close the door in their face as soon as they come towards you that mm, get out of my face i know what you did i know what you did you traitor that's what they're afraid of you saying meanwhile you're worried you're, you're concerned about your i think someone you're focused on work you're not worried about what these people have going on you're planning on how to move forward in life get to a stable place is what i'm hearing you're not worried about what these people have going on in life hello that's none of my concern they made their beds that i'm lying in it you are not worried about what these people have going on. You're not even worried about love. <laughs> I heard you're worried about building an empire, being successful. So whoever thought they were going to come in and cause you to just uh, pull your drawers down because they're so good looking, uh, you may want to rethink that before you get embarrassed, whoever you are. This is a lot of cards that came out. But I guess we will read all of them today. There's five that came out. Okay. There's definitely fighting going on behind the scenes. There's definitely revelation. Something is being reviewed. <clears throat> okay, 14, five. I'm telling you. You are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet, you are wise enough to stop and think before jumping into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. Look at that. Okay, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and create a place for abundance. I am abundant. Amen to that. Okay, 624. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider at all once. Oh, at once, excuse me. I am generous. Seven. Huh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Five. Okay. Seven, you you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gave you a greater awareness than most. 
I am brilliant. And lastly, eight. Ugh. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. Listen, you see how these came out in chronological order? Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Something is progressing in your life. Something people were trying to block, cause stagnation in, is progressing. And it's going to be extremely abundant. So if you're someone that opened a business and people have been fooling with your business, we want you to keep moving forward. If you started some type of educational journey and someone has been trying to fool around with your journey, we need you to keep moving forward. If you started your healing journey and someone has been trying to get you to relapse, go back to your old ways. We need you to ignore that irrelevant juicy bell, that irrelevant non-factor karmic. Keep moving forward in your healing journey, okay? We need you to do that because it's very essential for you to arrive at your destination because on a cosmic level, a universal level, and a planetary level, there are other souls and beings depending on you to fulfill your part of the contract. So we're going to need you to keep moving forward. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.